Located in Blacksburg, Virginia, Virginia Tech University is home to two iconic structures that are deeply rooted in the university's history and serve as symbols of remembrance and resilience. The first of which is the pylons, a set of eight towering marble pillars that overlook the central drill field. The second is the War Memorial Chapel, a beautiful structure dedicated to the memory of the Virginia Tech students and alumni who served and sacrificed their lives in World War I and all other subsequent wars. In this documentary, we will explore the history and significance of these two structures and how they have become a part of the Virginia Tech community. Today, the pylons and chapel area are frequently visited locations by Virginia Tech students. Lots of recent graduates visit the pylons as a spot to take grad photos. Additionally, both locations are visited by prospective students on campus tours as a way for them to get acquainted with the culture at Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech hosts a ring reveal ceremony there too, where juniors can participate in the annual ring dance ceremonies. Additionally, weddings and other special events are hosted at the pylons because of its special connection to the school and its beautiful scenery. Finally, the pylons and War Memorial Chapel are especially sacred places for the Corps of Cadets and their lifestyle, which bleeds into the culture of the Hokies and the city of Blacksburg. The pylons at Virginia Tech are a symbol of the university's core values and a testament to the strength and resilience of the Virginia Tech community. These eight pillars have become an iconic image of the university, representing leadership, service, loyalty, courage, honor, sacrifice, duty, and brotherhood, all values that make up Virginia Tech's motto, Ut Prosum. The pylons stand 16 feet tall and are made of white hokey stone, a type of limestone found only in the New River Valley of Virginia. Each pillar is adorned with a bronze plaque that bears the name of one of the university's core values. The pylons are situated at the top of a hill overlooking the Virginia Tech campus adjacent to the drill field and serve as a beacon of hope and inspiration for the university's community. Engraved into the pylons are the names of over 400 Hokies who lost their lives defending their country. The names date back to World War I, but go beyond that to other wars that have taken place since. The pylons were primarily designed by Roy F. Larson, but underwent more construction in the years to follow. Charles Rudy, an American architect, designed four pylons which include service, loyalty, duty, and courage. And Henry Kreiss, a sculptor from Germany, designed the Brotherhood, Honor, Leadership, and Sacrifice pylons. What happened in 2007 made the tower's existence even more meaningful. On April 16, 2007, a Virginia Tech undergraduate student killed 32 people and wounded 17 others with two semi-automatic pistols. Another six people were injured when they jumped out of the window to escape. In the hours and days after the shooting, makeshift memorials for the dead and wounded appeared in several places on campus. People place flowers and souvenirs under the pylons. The Union of Campus Student Organizations placed 32 hokey stones in the semicircle in front of the drill field observation deck. In the aftermath of the tragedy, the pylons became a place of remembrance and healing for the Virginia Tech community. Students, faculty, staff, and visitors would often gather at the pylons to pay their respects and honor the victims. The pylons have become a symbol of resilience and strength for the Virginia Tech community. Every year on the anniversary of the tragedy, the university holds a Day of Remembrance ceremony at the pylons, where students, faculty, staff, and community members come together to remember the victims and honor their memory. The ceremony includes a moment of silence, the reading of the names of the victims, and a laying of a wreath under the base of the pylons. The pylons are not just a symbol of the Virginia Tech community's resilience in the face of tragedy, but also the university's commitment to its core values. They serve as a constant remembrance of the values that the university holds dear and the responsibility that each member of the community has to uphold those values. The pylons are a symbol of the Virginia Tech community's strength, unity, and determination to move forward in the face of adversity. They serve as a beacon of hope and inspiration for the Virginia Tech community, reminding us of the shared commitment to leadership, service, loyalty, courage, honor, sacrifice, duty, and brotherhood. The pylons are an ongoing reminder of the university's history and the role that each member of the community plays in shaping its future. The War Memorial Chapel at Virginia Tech is a historic landmark and a sacred space that serves as a tribute to the brave men and women who have served in the armed forces. 
This beautiful chapel is a symbol of the university's commitment to honor and remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. Along with the pylons, the construction of the War Memorial Chapel started in 1951 and lasted until 1960. It was also designed by Roy Larson, who drew inspiration from the Gothic architecture found in Europe. The venture cost the university nearly half a million dollars, one of the most expensive projects in Hokie history. It was built with the idea for the chapel to be a tribute to the Virginia Tech alumni who lost their lives during World War I and other wars since then. The idea for the chapel came from a group of alumni who wanted to create a safe space where future generations of students could come to reflect on the sacrifices of those who had served their country before them. The chapel is made of hokey stone as well and features stained glass windows that depict biblical scenes and the history of Virginia Tech. The chapel's bell tower is home to the Carillon of 24 bells, which were donated by alumni in honor of those who lost their lives in the war. Over the years, the War Memorial Chapel has become a beloved part of the Virginia Tech community. It is a place of quiet reflection and a reminder of the sacrifices that have been made in defense of our nation. The chapel is often used for weddings, baptisms, and other special events, but it is always open to the public as a place of worship and remembrance. In addition to serving as a tribute to the brave men and women who have served their armed forces, the War Memorial Chapel is also a symbol of the university's commitment to excellence and service. The chapel is home to the Virginia Tech Corps of Cadets, a military training program that prepares students for leadership roles in the armed forces and beyond. The Corps of Cadets is a proud tradition at Virginia Tech, and the War Memorial Chapel serves as a central gathering place for the cadets and their families. In 2007, the War Memorial Chapel took on a new significance in the wake of the tragedy that occurred on the Virginia Tech campus. The chapel became a place of solace and comfort for the university's community, and a memorial service was held there in honor of the victims. The chapel served as a reminder of the university's commitment to honor and remember those who had been lost. Today, the War Memorial Chapel remains a cherished part of the Virginia Tech community. It is a place of worship, reflection, and remembrance, and a symbol of the university's commitment to excellence, service, and sacrifice. The chapel is a tribute to the brave men and women who have served their country, and a reminder of the sacrifices that have been made in defense of our nation. It is a symbol of the Virginia Tech community's strength, resilience, and commitment to honoring the past while also paving a path for the future. The chapel is used by students of all faiths and religions as it is a non-denominational place of worship where anyone can seek peace and comfort in the busy lives of students and staff at Virginia Tech. Faith groups of many religions on campus will typically use the chapel a few times a semester and hold gathering events for worship and prayer. These religious events go hand in hand with how the cadets use the chapel and represent how Hokies of all walks of life can come together and to create something special. The War Memorial Chapel at Virginia Tech is a historic landmark and a sacred space that serves as a tribute to the brave men and women who have served in the armed forces. This beautiful chapel is a symbol of the university's commitment to honor and remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. The chapel is also a testament to the strength and resilience of the Virginia Tech community, and it is a cherished part of the university and a symbol of the values that Virginia Tech holds dear. Along with the pylons and the chapel, there's a memorial court area at the center of the pylons. This stone has the names of eight former Hokies who have received the Medal of Honor Award for their service in the military. Only a handful of the millions of men and women who have served in the armed forces have earned this prestigious award. Over half the 3,400 recipients were given a Medal of Honor during the Civil War, which was before Virginia Tech's time. The name of the recipients include Earl Davis Gregory, Herbert Joseph Thomas, Jimmy Waters Monteith Jr., Robert Edward Femoyer, Richard Thomas Shea Jr., Gary Lee Miller, Antonio August Michael Gouget, and Julian Edmund Victor Gouget. It is clear that the pylons have a distinct ties to the military unit at Virginia Tech. The Corps of Cadets was established at Virginia Tech in 1872, just two years after the university was founded. At the time, Virginia Tech was a military college, and all the students were required to participate in the Corps of Cadets. The early years of the Corps of Cadets were marked by strict military discipline and rigorous physical training. Cadets were required to wear uniforms at all times and were subject to strict rules and regulations. In the early 1900s, the Corps of Cadets underwent a major transformation. The university shifted its focus away from military training, and the Corps of Cadets became a voluntary organization. 
During World War I and World War II, the Corps of Cadets played an important role in supporting the war effort. Many cadets joined the military and served overseas, while others stayed behind to train future soldiers. In the 1950s and 1960s, the Corps of Cadets experienced a resurgence in popularity, as many students were drawn to the camaraderie and the sense of traditions that the Corps offered. In the 1970s and 1980s, the Corps of Cadets faced challenges as the university became more diverse and less focused on military training. However, the Corps remained a vibrant organization, with cadets participating in a variety of activities and events. Today, the Corps of Cadets at Virginia Tech is a thriving organization that includes over a thousand cadets from all walks of life. While the military focus on the Corps has diminished, the organization still emphasizes leadership, discipline, and service. The Corps of Cadets at Virginia Tech has a rich history and tradition that has helped shape the university and the institution into what it is today, from its early days as a military college to its present-day role as a voluntary organization, the Corps has played a vital role in the life and history of Virginia Tech. Because of its history with the Corps at Virginia Tech, Oot Prosum has become the model of how all Hokies should act, and the Pylons and War Memorial Chapel have become household names for all who attend the university. In conclusion, the Pylons and War Memorial Chapel are two iconic structures that represent different aspects of Virginia Tech's history and values. The pylons serve as a symbol of resilience and strength in the face of tragedy, while the War Memorial Chapel honors those who have served and sacrificed their lives for our country. And together, they are a testament to the rich history and strong community of Virginia Tech.